All right, we're gonna renovate this lawn. We're gonna do it pretty simple. If you don't know what renovate means, it's uh, probably a term I'm using so I can feel like I've got more of a trade skill, which I don't. But to really simplify things, all it means is I'm gonna be cutting this Eureka Kaikuyu basically uh, down to the dirt almost to get rid of all that leaf and any sort of dead growth there. Now the reason we're doing it is we're into spring now, the temperatures are warming up and this stuff is coming back alive. It goes dormant over, uh, well pretty much dormant over the winter and autumn seasons but it is ready to thrive again and the best way to get it to thrive is to give it an absolute hiding so first we're going to hit it with the rotary mower the mass port these are pretty good because they go pretty low these petrol mowers these they're designed for australian conditions so we cut pretty low here a lot of the battery mowers you get are sort of imported over from the states where they cut a lot higher uh, and they'll only go down to sort of 25 30 mil this goes lower so my first step is going to be cut it down with this rotary mower get rid of as much of the material on the top here as possible then we're going to hit it with the still rla 240 scarifier this is uh, i'm not even sure if it is released yet i think it is just released in australia and that's going to cut into what's left of the grass vertically really slice it up and get the grass excited about new growth after that i might throw some sand down for a little bit of leveling i'm not too concerned we'll throw down a slow release fertilizer hit it with some water and then we just got to wait for it to come back aeration is something else that you could absolutely do here that would be of great benefit to this lawn, but uh, we're not doing that today. We're gonna keep it as simple as possible. We're gonna get it looking as good as we can this summer. We're gonna be using robot mowers out here. So make sure you're following to see how they go out here. Anyway, enough talking. I'm gonna rip in with this Massport contractor. I'll show you a bit more about this still scarifier shortly, but let's get into it. It's actually a lot more uneven than I thought. We will need a bit of sand, but again, I'm not gonna go crazy with this. If I start trying to chase perfection with this backyard, I'm only ever gonna be disappointed. So this is what we wanna get rid of here. We've knocked it down, but you've still got a fair bit of growth there. A lot of it goes along horizontally and we wanna nick that because if you just keep letting that grow and grow and grow, it gets spongier and spongier and a spongy lawn is not a nice lawn in my opinion. So that's one pass. Uh, I'll hit it with another pass now going the other way. Then we might try out the scarifier. Now this might be a good time to tell you I am not an expert. This is just what I do to my lawn every year. You don't really need to overthink this stuff. As long as you do the basics, you're gonna get a lawn that most people are gonna think looks amazing. So don't overthink it. Some of the thicker bits still need some attention. And that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna want to get rid of there. See those runners growing horizontally? And that's just gonna promote new growth. This is the new to Australia, the still RLA 240 scarifier. And it does come with two types of the first one with these solid blades, which are really gonna slice through those runners. That's what we're gonna do today, but it also comes with this one. Pull a bit of unwanted stuff out of the grass throughout the season without being so aggressive. Now this runs on the AK battery platform, which is Stills uh, residential gear. We're gonna be putting an AK20 battery in this today. I know next to nothing about it. Suburban OPE um, offered to let me try it. So I said, yeah, sure, we'll give it a go. So we're just gonna launch into it. Haven't read the user manual, because that is for losers. Now with previous experience of these smaller machines that come with these catches, it's generally been easier just to use the machine and then vacuum the stuff up with your rotary mower. But we'll give it a go with the catcher first and see how that goes. That's just pulled that out vertically. Just give it a quick go in the opposite direction, then mow all this up. So the still battery scarifier went surprisingly well. If you've already got AK batteries uh, and you need something like this, um, I'd be pretty tempted to buy it. Now I'm just going to scalp around the edges with a line trimmer. is 
what we want just to make it look all destroyed or we'll kind of destroy it and that he's going to come back sensationally that's the plan anyway is, uh, yeah surprisingly effective for very little effort but uh, i will go and get some bags of sand now we're not going crazy here we're not trying to make a putting green uh, we're not cutting it with a cylinder mower but i will get some bags of sand now just to level a few of the low spots i'm going to do it in the least cost effective way simply because i can't get sand delivered here today and this was a spur of the moment decision so i'm just going to be using the washed play sand from bunnings again not cost effective but it's what i can get access to today and i want to get this done today so i'm back this stuff isn't very economical it's like seven dollars something a bag but it is very handy and it is very clean no weeds or rocks in it so that's what we're going to be using today Now we're just going to do a super quick job of levelling this sand, again without going crazy. These soil spreaders are pretty easy to pick up in most places. I've had this one for a long time as you can see. It might be time for a new one. Alright, so that turned out okay. We're just going to throw down a granular slow release fertilizer now, which is going to give this a kickstart. After that, I'll water it in and then we're done. So I'm just going to give this a light water in because the uh, yard here retains moisture pretty well, so it's not lacking it. But yeah, once this is done, we just got to wait for the sun to do its work. And it should come back beautifully. I'm going to give you weekly updates, even if they're just quick ones, so. Make sure you're following to see how this goes. Hopefully it'll show you that a nice looking lawn is achievable for anyone with just a little bit of work or the project could fail miserably and you know, that'll be entertaining anyway. Once again, thanks to Suburban OPE for lending me that uh, still battery scarifier. I thought it worked pretty well. Let me know what you thought.